It's the most common form of cancer. I've removed skin cancer from people who are very fair to very dark. It doesn't discriminate. Dermatologist Dr. Mary Pilcher says many people don't even realize they have skin cancer. Skin cancer can be very insidious. It hides. Which is why she recommends regular skin screenings. It is recommended, since we are in southwest Florida, to at least do a monthly self-skin exam. Look in the mirror intentionally. Check spots. Use a hand mirror. Look at your back. Look at your buttocks. Places you don't normally see. If you've previously had skin cancer, having regular skin screenings with your doctor is important. If you are have any history of skin cancer, any family history of skin cancer, especially melanoma, I do recommend a once a year checkup. The skin cancer screenings help people find if they do have a problem. Keep an eye on spots that appear to be getting darker or bigger. Anything greater than six millimeters needs to be evaluated by your doctor. Anything after 30, you shouldn't be getting a new spot. And that includes things that you think are pimples. A lot of skin cancers can initially appear to be like a bug bite or a pimple. If something's not gone after a month, it needs to be checked. If you're spending time outside, make sure to keep your skin protected from the sun with clothing, sunglasses, and sunscreen with the right SPF. If you're going to be out, use at least a 30 and reapply every one to two hours. Regular skin screenings and learning your skin can help you notice any new or changing spots. All can help lower your risk for skin cancer. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Morton.